<laughs> what do Facebook, what do make me confused here? Now normally I come at you in some stupid, trying to be funny type thing, but today I'm coming to you on a different level. Yes sir, I'm coming at you at a different level today. So what, oh what's this? Uh, it's a cigarette. I know, I know, it's bad. You shouldn't do a choice bad for your health, you know. Well guess what? So it's being a black man at times. The reason for the video is, is reading or, or seeing a post that one of my friends posted this morning. And it was kind of disturbing because what they had was this picture with his gold teeth. And right next to his uh, picture was his criminal record. I, I, I didn't understand it. And the comments I, I, was, I was taken back by. Now this is a Caucasian friend of mine, and I called my friend because they're entitled to their opinion. I, I've I've hung out with these people. I've, I've you know I've you know eaten dinner. We've drank together and things like that. So I, they're my friends, but they're entitled to their opinion. And that's fine because I can't or we as as black men can expect someone with that mentality to understand who we are. You can see it. You can hear it. You can read it. But one thing you can do is feel it. You can't. It, it, it's a cigarette. I I know, I know it's bad for my health, but guess what? So has been a black man at times. You, you see this here? I, I was born with this. And I'm going to die with it. Whether fortunately or unfortunately. You know? I come from the same place that that man came from. And this is not to criticize or, or, or judge the police in that situation because I, I wasn't there. I saw it. And there's a pattern. And that's why I sick to me because there's a pattern. So once it happened once, twice, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten thousand times, if it walks like a duck, if it quacks like a duck, well, damn it, it's a duck. See, I have friends with police officers that they're real honorable people. They do it. They do their job. Actually, let me rephrase that. They do what they do because it's a passion of theirs. They're there to make a difference. They're not there to collect a check. Collect a check, you go through the motions. I've worked with these guys. I work side by side with these guys. So I know them. Not to say that they can't make a mistake because we're imperfect. We're human. get pulled over mother said you get pulled over respect the officer and do doesn't mean I'm not gonna be shot by a police officer doing his job or a police officer doing his, his 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 passion back to my main point is that some of you are so uneducated or ignorant shall I say with your posts because you're throwing again you're throwing shade you can't connect with the real reason. There's a passion here. I'm from the same place that guy came from. You know, again, I've been profiled. I've had my arm twisted behind my back by somebody doing their job because they wanted me to mess up. It wasn't a passion for them to, to figure out what the problem was. Situation I wasn't even involved in. I was at the wrong place, the wrong color at the wrong time. That's how I saw it. And y'all know me. I'm not a racist person. I don't go on no racist rant because I don't have to. I don't need to. I'm still black. I know we go through the struggle. <laughs> it's a cigarette. I know it's bad for my health. But guess what? So it's being a black man. I've got biracial kids. Their family's Caucasian. I don't expect them to, to understand everything. But I expect them to respect. And that's a problem these days. That there's no respect. You got 
officers out here who want to make a name for themselves want to go back to the station and brag about what they did or how they put a knee or how they tased and this and that and all. I understand people being tired of it. I'm tired of reading it. When I'm driving, I got my cruise control on. Matter of fact, hey, I'll stick my damn hand out to signal I'm making a left turn. I'll do anything I can do to reduce my encounter with the police. Not for fear of, of, of me being shot. Because I don't, they have a job to do. I got somewhere to be. I'm following the rules. And that's not to say that those people who shot weren't following the rules. I mean, with the latest one of the guy reaching for his wallet. Again, I wasn't there. I don't know. I work next to these guys. I understand, you know, how it is. You get a badge, gun, somebody get on that power trip. You know, because your mom took you off her titty too early. And you were beat up in second grade. Somebody took your lunch. Now you get a badge of gun and you want to go out and, and be the man. That's not to say that that's what those police officers did. I don't know them personally. You know, on this this this, this four by five thing, we can look at videos and, and we can form our opinions real quickly. And that's the damaging aspect of it all is our opinion. And again, I'm not throwing shade to what happened to, you know, no one deserves to die. Oh, let me rephrase that. I'm protecting mine. So if you come to take mine or take me, you can have my property. You can have my Hyundai. I don't care. I'm protecting mine. I don't care who you are. I'm standing up for myself. <laughs> I, I know it's a cigarette. I know it's bad for my house, but guess what? Also being a black man. And I may have said this, but again, I don't care... What literature you read, I don't care what black college you went to, I don't care how many black friends you got, I don't care if you got braids in your hair, you can't feel it, nevertheless understand it. So you talk about, hey, the, you know, people throwing this and you're throwing racial and you, you know, you're bringing up your whole race car or whatever, there's a pattern here still. My people, my ancestors have gone through slavery. Yeah, we can talk about what the Jewish went through. We're not talking about what, the, what I'm talking about. My people. You can't feel it. So you just speak on it uneducatedly is a bigly mistake. And you're making yourself look stupid. I'm not deleting you. I'm not blocking you. Because you're my friend and you're entitled to your opinion. Only thing I can do is try to educate you. So with that being said, Facebook. I know, I know, I know, damn it. It's bad for my health, but guess what? So it's being a black man. At times. Out.